Hey, welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I talk about all edible, edible fruits. Edible fruits and things that we like, plants, our yard. Uh, and uh, we, we noticed something. Jack just noticed something. Yeah. We've been noticing it for a while. We've got a few of these growing around. They're an invasive species in Florida, but you know, what's, what's a weed? What's invasive? What is just fun to deal with? Uh, here where we are in central Florida, they're not really that much of a problem. Northern Florida, bigger problem, but let's face it, we're never really going to get rid of them. So what do you say we grow it as a bonsai potted plant? Yeah? Yep. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find a pot to put it in. So let's go ahead and find a pot. Yep. All right. I know where one is. You know when we uh, put the banana? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, yes, that's what I was about to say. Okay, let's go find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It. Yeah, that's let's go get it. There's flies in it. Flies in it? Yeah. All right, what do you say we fill it with dirt? Yep. Okay. Shovel out here. We don't want to go into the garage, so we'll just use this Arika palm palm frond thing as a like an Indian shovel, and we'll use that. Come on, let's go. Let's go get some dirt. From where? You know what uh, I just realized. What? We're filling up this this pot with sand, and I already have one that's basically got potting soil in it. So what do you say we go just grab some of that potting soil? No, let's just grab the whole thing. Come on, let's go. You lift that thing? No, yeah, barely. That's super heavy. Well, yeah, but if you lift it, it's going to rub on you. All right, I'll, I'll turn the camcorder off and we'll just lug it around. But you know, now that I see this prime potting soil, here's some bananas that were growing in a pot from some sprouts, but they're pretty good. Weekly. I think I don't want to waste. Okay. I don't want to waste this potted, this awesome pot of premium potting soil. We had some cuttings in there that didn't make it. I don't want to waste it on a Chinese tallow tree. What do you say we go find something better to put in there? Okay. So radical rethink. We decided, why plant a tallow tree when you can... We'll still plant that, but not in supremo soil. Why not plant those papaya sprouts we've been looking at for a while instead and try to grow some, some papaya? Another thing which has made me curious are these palm sprouts that are here. These are palm trees. But I don't know what kind of palm tree they are, and I really don't want to waste calories trying to grow them. But these little guys, these are papaya. And I would like some more papaya. Now I have this one too, that's grown from a seed. And I have this one here that's grown from a seed. But they're actually in a good spot. They're far enough away from these power lines. Actually, it's hard to see in this video, but they're... They grow up about 10 feet away from the power lines and right up in an area that doesn't have much much in the way of canopy so they're gonna really they're gonna start to really stretch out and get big these are Hawaiian papaya trees they'll get 25 feet tall at their zenith but uh, I think I'm gonna plant these little papayas in this pot and give them a go because I'd much rather have something that fruits than that tallow tree which just produces a big tree although that's interesting uh, I always, you know, eat your backyard, I'd rather eat it. Alright, now this doesn't have to be that complicated, but the problem is, ooh, look at that. This mulch is formed into like a glued-in mat. I don't want to hurt these. Don't want to hurt these. Okay, yeah, we're going to see a movie tonight, so i got to go. So, ooh, I do not want to hurt it. Oh, look at it. Okay. This is a delicate operation. Don't want to hurt it. If I destroy this root ball, it's going to be bad. Oh, look at that. Okay. See how tender that is? Yeah. Look at that. Just a little bit of growth. Really, you just have to kind of get it in there and not hurt it. I'm just going to pack the smallest amount of dirt in there. Just try to keep as much the root structure in place. Really delicate. 
This is where for me, growing things becomes almost like an art form. That's like a newborn little thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant two. Now, what we don't know about these papayas is whether they're male or female. It's the females that produce the fruit. And by the way, I have, okay. Uh, I have several videos about on, on this channel in Eat Your Backyard that talk about how to identify. The females are what produce the fruit. So if it's a male, I'm gonna have to kill it anyway. But we put two in, we have a 50% chance that we have, oh, look at that. Okay, that we have one that's a female. Mm -hmm. So we'll just go ahead and plant two. Doesn't just hurt to, to be bring... safe. Yeah, just to be safe. You don't want to get out of control. <laughs> no, we really don't want to get out of control if we can help it. But don't plant any more. <laughs> sometimes it happens. If we have two males here, this has all been for nothing. But you know one way to deal with your uh, the odds of having two potential males is to go ahead and plant a third. So let's look to see, oh, there's a giant lily sprout right there. I could definitely plant that, but I don't yeah, really want I think to. I see one. I think Do you? Do you see another one? Oh, uh, yeah, right there, but I want to keep that one. I want to keep that. Oh, here's some more. Here's some more. Uh, actually, we have a little Suriname cherry tree there. We got little sprouts of fruit trees all over because we have so much fruit, but here's another one. A bunch of them. Oh, is there three? Four. Okay, Mr. Papaya Tree. Hey. Why did you get a fat tree? That's my question. Oh no. That's not what I wanted to have happen. It fell over. A little dark and broken. Ay, ay, ay. We're uh, going. That wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> but it is what happened. This soil is nice and wet, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to try to lay those little roots down in there. Lay it over and pack it in. As long as we don't snap them over, I think it'll be okay. Okay, I know. And uh, while I'm on it, I'm going to see Spider Man tonight, everybody wants to get going. One last one, Wait. and then I'm yeah. done. Famous last words, right? <sighs> yeah. How oh, the heck with it. This one has not got high odds for success. We'll just have to see what happens. At some point, that's really what you're dealing with in life. Just see what happens. We'll pack it down a little bit. All right, so there you go. Four chances to win. Yeah. Four chances to get a female papaya. And we know Wonder the females. Wonder if all of these three die and that one's still alive. So maybe it's four chances to lose. We don't know. But if even one is a female, we're gonna win. Now we know the soil's nice and wet. It's not over wet, so oh, we don't have feel? to water it right now. Can I feel? Yeah. Hmm. It's wet enough, right? Now we'll go ahead and maybe water that tomorrow. Just give them a little time to set up and we'll see if they grow. So hey, if you Hi. like videos like this, then go ahead and uh, give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, Eat Your Backyard. And I wanna say, thanks for watching. Maybe you watch these papayas turn into 25-foot behemoths.